Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a Linux Mint operating system for your Mint Stack development. If you're not sure what is Mint Stack, Mint Stack stands for MongoDB, Express, Node and Angular. So basically this stack will let you start working on your web application. Angular covers the front end, Express is a back end framework on a node and MongoDB is a database. Now it's pretty straightforward to install these packages on different operating systems, for example, Windows and a Mac, but it's quite different and sometimes it's a little bit problematic to install these packages and get them up and running. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up and let's start by installing Node.js first. So here you can click on download and you get this package. Now this is quite complicated to you know, use that and a lot, a lot of people knows terminal commands in Linux so that's why I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's gonna you know it's gonna basically cause a lot of issues so I've got a better way to install Node.js to paste the command I'm gonna right click paste now this is the command that you need to type I drop that into the description as well you can just copy and paste now once I paste that command and press enter it's gonna ask me to type the password so I'm going to type the password and it's going to start getting an update as you can see here and it's going to start installing that node package for me. Now once that's finished, next thing what we'll install is going to be Angular CLI. Now here I'm going to go sudo app get update. I'm going to get some updates and also we can install yarn as well. So sudo app.get install yarn. Yarn is basically another package manager like NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager, which basically lets you install packages, or JavaScript packages, very, very easily. So now here, if I say node dash dash version, I can see I have this node not found. Okay, I did paste that command, but it didn't really install that. Well, that command would actually get the binary for you. Now you can just type this sudo app install node js press enter and this time because we added that package in using curl command into the repository of our operating system now if you type this command sudo app install node.js it will simply go and install this version of that whichever you use to get the uh, to get from the website okay so if i type node dash dash version now i can see i have the latest node long-term supported version installed the next thing we need to make sure we need to install npm so if i type npm space dash dash version i can see i have the latest npm installed as well so when you install node it npm automatically gets installed next thing we need to install is angular which is fairly simple all you got to do is just go to the website and then here you'll see npm install dash g well dash g flag basically let us install uh, this angular cli globally so i'm just going to right click and paste that here press enter and it's going to install that globally if you're on a mac or uh, other operating system maybe it will ask you to type the password in let's have a look if it asks us to type the password now as i said it says missing write access so what you need to do is you need to use sudo just before npm press enter and then it will ask you a password. If you just recently typed the password, then it will not ask you to type the password. Now at that stage, your Node.js will be 100% installed and Angular CLI is installed as well. I'm going to type clear to clear the terminal. The next thing we need to install is Express. Now Express can be installed using one terminal command. It's fairly simple. It goes uh, to the project base, but you can have one thing installed called Express Generator, which you can install globally, which will help you to you know start your project uh, like instantly. Now I'm going to paste that command. Right click, paste, and here we need to install that globally as well. So let's type sudo npm install and press enter, and you see that's a G for global package. Now our Express is installed as well. The next thing is a MongoDB, which is quite hard if you want to install from the binary you download from their website. Now for that, I'm going to install some updates. So we'll type sudo app get updates. 
oops just update it's going to update with packages and we will install sudo npn install do you think we should use npn it's not a node package that's why we can't use npn so we need to use sudo app.get install dash y and mongo db press enter and it's going to go and find that package for you the latest version and it's going to install that and the best thing about using a terminal is that it's going to install mongodb as a service which will automatically be running for you you don't have to start or stop this and you can check the status of the, the service as well so once we have the mongodb installed properly then we can check the status so type sudo system ctl and then we could do status mongodb and here we go let me just expand the terminal so we can see all right let me just go and quit this write the same command it is sudo systemctl status mongodb and here you can see it's actively running so now you don't really need to do anything your mongodb is automatically running now you can start it you can stop it so if i say you know stop press enter it's going to stop the service now i'll check the status and it'll tell me mongodb service it's not running anymore okay so that's all right then we can start it as well so let me just press q here then instead of status i'll use start press enter and it's going to start mongodb now at this stage all of our uh, packages are installed successfully now what you need to do is to create a new project let me show you how you can create an angular project and also an express project so first of all let's create an angular project so i'll type ng space dash dash version and this verifies that angular cli is successfully installed then we go to a folder where we want to you know create a project so i'll make a directory here so i'll say mkdir and i'll say dev cd to dev by pressing cd space dev and then here we'll do ng new and it's going to ask me a few things so what would you like to name your workspace so i'll just say uh, projector press enter it's asking me would i like to add angular running i'll like yeah why not and then the css preprocessor i'll use sass now at this stage our you know angular project is getting ready for us then we can start the server now after this project gets created we'll create an express project using express generator as well our angular project is done now let's type express space dash dash version and here we have express 4.16.0 installed let's clear the console or terminal then we type express and i want to define what templating engine that i want to use so i'll type space dash dash view is equal to pug and then i will just name it projecto backend press enter and there we go we have done all the dependencies so let's start our server so i'll type cd projecto backend and i'll just do npm start once i do npm start it's asking me hey there's a problem here we need to run this command npm install which will look for a package.json file it will install all the dependency and then after that we can do npm start and then it will start our uh, server now here it's basically waiting for something to load then it will start it now i'm going to create a new tab and let's just make it bigger i'll type cd and then i'm going to go to projector folder actually projecto okay that's the angular project and let me just try making it bigger for you guys okay so here we have an angular project i'll type ls space dash l and we can see all the packages there okay so i'll type npn install to install all the packages which we have listed in a package.json file so once we have all the packages i can simply say ng serve and then this will start the angular server as well and we can listen to it 
on localhost 4200 let's take a look at express and it's actually started i'm not sure which uh, server that it's using or which port that's using we can verify that by you know just go to for example nano if let's see if there's a nano installed nope it's not installed so i'm going to do sudo app.get install nano which is like a text editor for terminal it's fairly uh, simple so i'll type ls nano app.js file and here we can see it's going to start the server on port 3000 i think so let's try that i'll do npm start and that will start the server let's take a look at in the browser now so let me just make it bigger first of all let's take a look at if our angular project is running on port 4200 and we can verify yes our project is running angular project running let's take a look at if our express is running on port 3000 and there you go our express is running as well now your mongodb is installed and running as well uh, and you can go and inject and inject your mongodb into your express project so that was a quick video about how to set up a mean stack development in linux mint you can use the same uh, in other linux distro as well a debian and ubuntu work the same all right guys thanks for watching if you like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next video